Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how weathering causes rocks to break into sediments, erosion moves those sediments, and deposition places those sediments in another place. We're going to talk about what weathering is and the two types of weathering, mechanical and chemical weathering. Then we're going to talk about erosion and deposition. So firstly, weathering is basically taking a big rock and breaking little tiny pieces off that rock over a long time to create what we call sediments. And these sediments are just smaller chunks of that big rock. It's, weathering is caused by the weather, the elements, that's why it's called weathering. And there are two ways that this can occur, either mechanically or chemically. When we say mechanical weathering, we're talking about any physical process where these rocks are being turned into sediments. So this could include uh, wearing away of rock by water, so the waves of the beach lashing up on the shore wears away that rock at the bottom. And you can actually see here, this is a picture of the 12 apostles, and you can see that the weathering is causing, where the waves are lashing up against that rock, uh, causing the rock to disappear there. So we see all these little bits uh, where that weathering, mechanical weathering, is occurring from the waves. It's not only the waves. If water is running through a stream, that's going to cause weathering on the base of the stream and can eventually turn it into a river. Uh, and there's a few different types of mechanical weathering. So water freezing includes is included in mechanical weathering. And basically, if you've ever put a glass bottle in the freezer by, and forgotten about it by accident, you'll know that when water freezes, it expands. So the same way that that bottle cracks because the water has nowhere to go, water that seeped between cracks in rocks expands and cracks those rocks because it's got nowhere to go. Uh, roots from trees can also grow in between those cracks and act as a wedge, causing those rocks to break off in weathering. Chemical weathering, on the other hand, is the process of chemicals wearing away the layers of the rock. And when we say chemicals, we're usually talking about acids, and in particular, uh, something we think about is acid rain. So acid rain is able to dissolve particular types of rock, such as limestone and marble, and increases the effects of, weather, of the mechanical weathering. So the rain is already going to place some stress on the rock, causing it to wear away. But if that's acid rain, it's going to place more stress on that rock, causing more weathering. And it's a bit funny to think about rain and uh, wind and things like that as causing rocks, something as big and tough as rocks, to disappear. But this is something that happens over a very, very long period of time. Erosion is once that rock has been weathered and broken into sediments, erosion is the movement of these sediments. So if those sediments are held together, uh, for example, if you've got a forest sitting on top of those sediments or dirt holding it together, uh, they will probably not erode too much. Uh, but if you have cleared that forest and you just have, say, a fallow paddock, uh, the, when it rains, uh, quite a lot of erosion could occur. Deposition is the settling of sediments into another place. So we've taken those sediments from the rock where it was weathered. It's then eroded to another place. Deposition is depositing those rocks on the floor of another place. And usually this occurs uh, on the bottoms of lakes and salt pans and things like that. Over years, these rocks, the sediments rather, can cement together and form new sedimentary rocks. And this process starts all over again. In this video, we've looked at weathering being the wearing away of rocks by the elements or weather into smaller rocks called sediments. And we've looked at the two ways that this can happen through physical processes called mechanical weathering, such as wind, rain, uh, rivers, ice freezing, plants growing between it. And we've looked at chemical weathering where chemicals cause that weathering. And usually in this case, we're talking about acid rain. We've talked about erosion that occurs when these sediments are moved by wind or water from one place to another, and deposition where these sediments are deposited on the bottom of usually a lake, uh, and then can be cemented together to start the process again. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.